Okay, I want to uh, thank the grace of heaven, right, and all the Buddhas and saints and all the uh, transmitters, well, the, the predecessors, transmit, well, grand predecessors, predecessor transmitters, and uh, all the, uh, you know, temple masters and lecturers and class members to give me this opportunity to uh, give a uh, talk on this uh, this topic. But this, is, this is not a... Uh, this is not a typical topic, but it's a very, uh, it's a good summarization, if you will, a summary of, of all those parts, okay, right? How to implement or put into practice, you can say put into use, put into practice, the learning, the cultivation, the teaching, the propagation, and the practice of the Tao. That's a lot, right? So there are five areas, right? There's learning, cultivation, teaching, propagation, and, and, and really it's, it's, um, it's um it's a sequence maybe that's a, it's an order right before you can practice you have to, to propagate okay before you can propagate you have to teach you have to talk about it you have to right teach discuss propagate means to spread right to give to others right all right okay and then before you can teach or talk about it you have to what cultivate you have to you know there's this cultivation yes you know in the in the in the Dharma class topic, right, the inner and outer cultivation, right, topic, this cultivation really stresses more the inner piece because the practice is really the outer piece. Pro practice, propagation is really the outer piece. And teaching, teaching for that matter. It's just that it's more specific. That's, I mean, you know, you can, you can divide it in different categories. It's just, it, it just so we divide it in these three, that's all. But this cultivation is really the inner part, okay? Focus more on the inner piece. I mean, the inner, inner portion, you know, you know, all those, you know, your your uh, five constants, eight virtues, all those things that you have to, you know, the three poisons, you know, have to get rid of all yourself. Okay, I mean, that's all internal. That's in others. That's 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 for every individual. Okay, so that's good. And then before you can do that, you have to know about that, right? You have to understand what it is. And that's what learning is, right? So, right before you say, oh, how do I cultivate? Well, you have to learn, <laughs> right? Well, how do I learn? Okay, well. In uh, and I think in slide four, slide four, you'll 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 you'll, you'll talk about it. Okay, so that's that's the that's the basically the summary of the whole topic. Okay, so the next slide is the what 18th patriarch, or you know holy teacher really is 18th patriarch. He encourages ex exhortations to encourage us. Okay, encourages us to what? The more we learn the Tao, the more harmonious we become. Right, right. The the, the more. It, it's a, harmonious does not necessarily mean happy. I mean, it just means that we get along. That, that's very basic. I mean, you get along, you are at peace with not just yourself, but with others. That's harmony, right? Harmony, peace, tranquility, right? Okay, so it's not necessarily happiness. I mean, yeah, it, it can lead to happiness. That's true. Okay, but, but, but that's the next. The next line is the more we cultivate the Tao, the more joyful we become, the, more, the happier we are, in other words. Why? Very simple. You have less attachments, so less worries, less headaches. <laughs> so, so, so that's that's a burden off of our shoulder. Okay. So therefore, we should be more joyful, right? And also, also what you really realize what's the most important, what what's truly real, what's true versus what's false. Everything else that we pursue, that we think that makes us happy, is false. I want more money. I want bigger house. I want more cars. I want better clothes, prettier clothes. I want better shoes. I want better watches. I want better smartphones, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All those things that we think makes us happy is what? Turns out to be what? Impermanent. Right? Right? Okay. All right. So, so that's, okay. That's one example. I mean, just, okay. All right. So, all right, I don't get into too much detail since I don't I only have just one hour, right? So, okay. The more we teach the Tao, well, well, jiang dao literally means to teach. Yeah, it just means to to talk about, to not necessarily to teach. I mean, teach is more more specific, narrow. It's really just to talk about, to discuss. You can say discuss, to discourse, talk on the dao. The more we are immersed in its essence or true principle, right? Makes sense, right? In other words, the more we speak about it, the closer we are to what what it really it's essence is. So, so that means we are what? Practice it. We, we are 
following what we are learning, right? That, that's all that what means. Or, or, or another way of saying that that's more specific, a broader way is like, really, once we start cultivating, remember cultivating was before that, right? Preceded. So the more, as we cultivate, the more we cultivate, and, and when we learn and cultivate, and the more then we start you know, discussing, talk about, we, what? Become one. In other words, we, you can say, you can say, I mean, to use this, this expression, you know, we say, we live and breathe. You can say, we eat, sleep, and breathe. The Tao. In essence, that, 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 that's, that's a very broad, broad view, okay? It, it, the Tao, the principles. It, it's principles. In other words, we are at one. Like I say, we, 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 we are part of it. We are it. We are, you can say it. You are it, okay? So, so that's what it means, all right? Immerse in its truth. And then the next one is the more we propagate the Tao, then we spread, right? We spread, we, we, we tell others, or we, you know, you could do too. The, the more momentous opportunities there are, right? Yeah, there are, right? Because that means there are greater, more and more opportunities, right? To what? Have other people, you know, to come on the Dharma boat, okay? All right, come on board, okay? Also, you can say, literally, Qi ji, right? This is qi ji, right? That, that word. Qi, qi, qi ji, qi ji. It, it literally means mom, moment, a, a juncture, a critical moment or defining moment or a turning point. So it is like a turning point because when we supposedly receive the Tao, right? Or we quote, quote, receive the Tao or know the three treasures, really that should be a turning point. That should be a momentous moment of our lives. Why? Because throughout history, all the cultivators, they, they cultivated multiple lives, okay? Not just one life, but multiple lives to what? To not find out what the three treasures are. So for us who barely cultivated or who just like a friend just dragged us on here, whether, you know, we're, we're screaming and kicking and so unwillingly, and yet you're receiving something that all the previous saints, Buddhas, sages have sought in multiple lives so that's something precious so it's momentous so it's a turning point you can say all right uh you can say reborn you're reborn right the christians like to use that word reborn okay so, so that's what it means all right the last one the more we practice the Tao, the more we are in harmony with the rules and regulations i mean yeah i mean right Zhongju, right Ju, yeah it means rules and regulations or rituals it, it means basically the rules of the, Zhong, you know, means you are at the center, you are with, you know, you're right in the midst, in the middle, or, you know, you're in harmony, you're together. Because there are rules, right? There are certain precepts, right? Rules of regulation include precepts, right? Vows that we took, right? All that. So that's all part of that, right? Okay, make sense? All right. The benefits. I don't know why we have this slide, but anyway, this should be, this should be like, what are the benefits of Sathani Tao? This is pretty straightforward, right? It transforms our temperament. Literally, qi yi, right? Qi zi, sorry, qi zi, qi zi, right? Bian, uh, bian hua qi zi, right? It means, well, bian hua means to transform, to change. Qi zi means temperament. That's true. But it also implies your character. Okay, character is broader, right? Temper, temperament is a bit more specific. It's a part of character, temperament. But that's okay. But that's what it implies, right? It does, right? I mean, we, you know, you know, we don't, I don't need to go into detail, but everybody can... Then the second line is it opens up our wisdom, right? It, it basically allows us to realize that we have this Buddha nature, which has this, you call Buddha wisdom or marvelous wisdom, right? Not intellectual wisdom. So it doesn't depend on education, right? Or knowledge, but rather it's on your Buddha nature, right? Okay. And the third one is probably what most people care for <laughs> is to change our fate and reshape our destiny. Right? Yeah, right, right? It can do that, right? So if you, you know, if you guys listen to the class on causality, right, you're familiar with the notion of transmutation of cause out of, of karma, right? Right? You guys, right? <clears throat> so that's an example of changing your fate <clears throat> or reshaping our destiny. Um, the fourth <clears throat> benefit is it bestows favor and grace to our descendants and ancestors, right? Right? Makes sense, right? Another, our ancestors <clears throat> and our descendants will benefit, will gain, will, you know, will, will gain, right? From whatever, however we cultivate, you know, that however amount we cultivate, 
they will gain, right? Like, you know, stories of transmitter Jin, for example. His, his, his father and mother, right? And aunt, I think aunt, right? Or, or not aunt, sorry, a sister. Is it, no, 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 not sister. No, sister. No, 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 so, so his father and mother both um, got uh, what we call resurrected in from the underworld to um, to absolute heaven, and they also have positions, right? You know, so you know, initially when 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 um, you know, Miss Transmitter Jin's father was <clears throat> resurrected to absolute heaven. He was given the task of uh, who's that? He's like the the caretaker of the peach garden or something like that, something like that, some something like that, peach grove or peach garden. Now, now after you know after certain years, because Transmitter Jin, you know, continued to propagate and cultivate and practice the Tao. Now his father is a what's uh, called Fu Fa Xian, which means means literally means the a uh, supporter or guardian of the Dharma. Dharma meaning the Dharma class, like the Dharma class. You know, so that's a higher position. That's a higher Tibetan. That's a Da Xian. That's a, you know, literally means great saint. I mean, great saint, right? Great sage, great saint. All right? So, so that's, so, so that means, you know, as long as we cultivate, our ancestors and our descendants will benefit, right? Okay. Then the, then the next line, a lot of people like that, right? It avoid calamities and escape danger, right? I mean, so, you know, you have here stories of temple masters who just received the Tao or, or not just received the Tao or just set up a temple and there's a disaster, the whole village got destroyed by them or, or there's a big fire in this town and then everybody around them was burned down but them, okay, but they're in a bad temple and then suppose, yeah, whatever, you hear all those stories, okay? So, so that, and then the last one is probably the most important because that's, that's, you know, well, it's not permanent, but it's it, it, it's the most important because it transcends samsara or reincarnation. All right, that's the whole point of what Buddha wanted us to to do. Okay, the next one: How do you learn and cultivate the Tao? Number one, attend classes. <laughs> so hear that, everybody? Attend classes. All right. So so if you don't attend classes, well, you already you already missed the first step. All right. So. Okay, then number two, you study carefully the Tao classics or sutra, right? Or classics, you know, like four books, that's the Tao classics, right? The, uh, the book of stillness and tranquility or quiescence, that's also a classic, right? I mean, all those, okay, I mean, sutras, yeah, you can call them sutras too, Tao classics, okay? So we have to study carefully, all right, okay? So, so effort, remember? The first one is time, right? There's a time, you know, you have to attend class, you have to use... You have to make time to come to class. The second one is what? Effort. So the, you can't, you can't avoid these two. Okay. People say, Oh, I want to find a shortcut to, to, to uh, transcend reincarnation and become a Buddha. Well, I tell you, if you don't have time, if you don't make time and effort, you're never going to be a Buddha. That's absolutely guaranteed. I can guarantee you that. Okay. That's a guarantee. All right. Okay. So, so just remember that. All right. The third one is, Go to temples regularly, all right? Uh, why? 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 Why do we need to go to temple? I said, oh, I study. I, I, well, I, well, number one, you can. Uh, most most classes are at temple, so so you should come. To, so 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 to attend the class, you have to come to the temple, right? But assume assuming that oh man, the benefit of that oh you know I have classes at home. Okay, 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 fine. And and I read the classics. I read all the classics. <laughs> I study the four books. I study all the sutras, the Diamond Sutra, the Heart Sutra. But not. Why do you have to come to a temple? Why should you come to a temple? <clears throat> Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? Well, number one, how do you how do you propagate the Tao? Yes, you can you can tell them at home, but ultimately you have to what? Bring them to a temple to receive the three treasures. Right? You can't do it at a house unless you have a temple at home. Okay, that's different. Right? But how many how many people? Have house temples? Not many, right? Okay. There's another benefit to. There's a subtopic really to to the first one, to the last previous slide. Really, there's also benefits to becoming a temple master. Okay, yeah, but 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 that's that. I don't need to go into that. But but you also there's another reason too, because the temple is a 
holy, you could say holy ground, holy, holy site. It's like this. It's like you are a boat. We're all boats. We're all on a boat because we're all received the Tao, right? We're all on a boat. We're all on this ocean. Sooner or later, you're going to have to come to, come to a harbor, right? <laughs> you're going to run out of supplies, water, whatever, right? So the harbor is the temple, right? Remember that, that uh, what's that song? Uh, Ohio, was it Ohio? Yeah. yeah, Ohio. It was Ohio's uh, Dharma class, right? It, eternal harbor. Really, eternal harbor. Well, well, well I mean, one, one aspect is, is you can say it's like a temple. All right, he's referring to the heaven, but that's okay. But that's that's too high, okay. On a human level, our eternal harbor is really our temple, right? You know, I mean, you know, you know, you hear miracles about you know people who have temple, you know, whatever. But but that's not, it's it's because it's sacred. It's a holy ground. It's it's basically uh 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 what's it called hallow hallow h a o l o w right hallow hallow means what? Sacred, holy, right? It's a hollow place. That's why, right? Right? Okay. So you have to come to the temple. It's like you're recharging your batteries too, right? Okay. It's a temple, all right? Okay. So then the fourth one is what? That's important too. The fourth one, you set up our own cultivation path. It's like our career path. We all have career paths or whatever paths, okay? So you need a re uh, cultivation path too, right? Because now you receive three treasures, you have to have what? You're embarking on a journey, right? You know the destination. You have to embark on a journey. So you have to set up a path, right? A cultivation path in this way, all right? Then the last one is you have to, what? Do good things, basically, which is perform, more specifically, perform meritorious deeds and establish virtue, all right? Okay? And with the, with the major, you can say, condition, if you will, or understanding that it should be done without motive, right? I mean, you know, I mean, that should be known, but, but, but that's later, okay? All right, so all these you have to do, right? Okay, each one is necessary, but all to, only by all of them together would it be sufficient, you understand? So yes, it's necessary to attend classes, but if you don't do the rest, it's not sufficient, you understand? So yes, it's necessary to study the Tao classics. But if you don't do the rest, it doesn't help, right? So it's good. Yes, it's necessary to come to the temples. But if you don't study, <laughs> if you don't go to classes, if you don't have a cultivation path, then it's insufficient. Understand? So now you understand, right? So these are all necessary, but each one is necessary, but all together will only make it sufficient. Get it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Cultivator to 
have a home temple to set up a home temple too. Okay. All right. So. All right, so next slide. We gotta go. I mean, yeah, okay, we gotta we gotta move. <laughs> I only have 13 slides. It's very short. So, okay, what are the goals or aims of learning, cultivating, teaching, propagating, and practicing Tao? All right. So the first is when we learn the Tao, we have to learn up till when? Until we attain the moral standards of the holy sages. So that means we gotta we gotta become like learn. The Tao until we're at the level of the Buddha, basically. <laughs> so that means we can't, we don't stop. Okay, and that's what Joey said. Don't stop. Don't feel that. Oh, I have ten PhDs in everything, so I know enough. No. <laughs> if you can say that, you're really ignorant. Okay. If you can say that, that's ignorant, right? That's a sign of ignorance. Okay. So anyway, so so all right. So we have to learn up to the moral standard. All right. That's pretty high. <laughs> that's pretty high. All right. Okay, and then we have to cultivate. We have to cultivate because I don't have enough space, <laughs> so I say I shorten it. Cultivate to accommodate. Really, it means to cultivate the Tao until we are able to accommodate everything, like Maitreya, right? Maitreya has a big belly, right? Happy Buddha. He la and he's always laughing. Why? Because nothing bothers him. <laughs> nothing. Even people curse at him. It doesn't bother him. So we have to cultivate ourselves. Now, this is the inner priest, right? That's that, that, that inner, our inner part. We have to cultivate such that whatever people, whenever people call you foolish, oh, you're a vegan, or oh, you're a fool, man. You're a fool. I mean, look how juicy the steak is, the hamburger. Wow, so fantastic, man. Tastes so good. You're missing out, man. <laughs> That's okay, right? At least you're not creating karma, right? At least you won't reincarnate as an animal, right? So, so, so we have to cultivate until we're at that level, which basically means what? We never stop cultivating. <laughs> okay, that's another way of saying. All right. Okay. So when we teach the Tao, we have to teach it completely or thoroughly to its true meaning or profoundness. What its true, actual truth is. You can say the truth because because once again the Tao. Uh, uh, the principles, especially, right? We're talking about the principles, the principles of Tao. They're very, very, some of them are very simple, that in Bachelor, they're very profound. So we have to, when we're teaching it, we have to teach to its true meaning, to its true profoundness, okay? Not just superficial. Yeah, right. That's what I said. Not just superficial. All right? Okay? Understand? Okay. Then when we propagate it down, we have to propagate until it's everywhere. <laughs> or literally 10 directions. That's what it means. Sifang, right? Literally it means 10 directions. But it means everywhere. So basically it means non-stop. <laughs> non-stop. Okay? Non-stop. We have to spread the doubt. Okay? And why? At the very last one, we have to practice until what? All three realms are saved. Literally, uh, really means three beings or sentient beings, right? Of the three realms. Are safe. Safe means that they come aboard the Dharma boat, right? So that means non-stop too. <laughs> because think, in celestial heaven, right? In the celestial heaven, the Tusita heaven, all that's heaven. I mean, whatever. Like they're like uh, twenty something layers, twenty something planes. Well, they're thirty-one, including the six earthly realms. I mean, uh, the, the, the six earth, you know, planes, right? There's underworld, the hungry ghost, the um, asura, the animal. The human, celestial, right? That's six, right? But then beyond that, the world of forms, right? And world of non-forms. They, 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 they're literally like 20, 20 something planes, 26 planes of, 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 of layers, or you can say levels in there. To see the heaven is one of them. But anyway, doesn't matter. But how many divas are there? You know, and then look at on the, just on the earthly plane. How many animals are there? <laughs> and then the underworld. I don't know how many people are there suffering. So anyway, so think about it. How many sentient beings there are? <laughs> all right. So basically, we have to practice until what? All beings are saved. You know, really, all this, right? All this, all these five lines or whatever. <laughs> what, what, what? Really are what? Buddha's goals <laughs> or Bodhisattva. You can say Bodhisattva. Same thing. Bodhisattva, Buddha. All those are Buddha goals. That's it. So we have to follow that, okay? We have to do that, all right? So, okay, so that's 
That's that's the goal. All right. So very lofty, right? Very. It's basically without end. Okay. Never ending. Okay. So now, now we know what the the goal, right? We know what, right? Now we have to know how. How? How do we learn, cultivate, teach, propagate, and practice? Well, simple. First step: the learning of the Tao is in our daily life. The daily life. You don't have to go to the mountains. You have to go to the cave to meditate. You have to, yeah. You don't have to go to a monastery to join the 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 sangha there to become a monk or a nun. You don't have to do that. In the old days, yes, you have to. Because why? Because only the uh, the uh, enlightened masters are in those places. But now enlightened masters could be anybody. Well, right? Technically, I mean, could be anybody. <laughs> doesn't have to be a monk. That's what I'm trying to say. Doesn't have to be a priest. Doesn't have to be the pope. Okay. So what I'm saying is that. So that's why learning the Tao is in our everyday life. Okay. So second step, cultivating Tao is with our hearts and minds. Okay. All right, Xin Tang. Okay, literally, yeah, it's a heart of mind. It's your heart of mind. Okay, it's it means that you have to start with your sincere heart and mind. You have to have the determination within you, right? Before you can start cultivating. If you have no determination, you're not going to go anywhere, right? Obviously, you have to have sincerity, all that willingness, basically willing. So it's part of your heart and mind, right? So it's not with your education, background, social background, status, etc., right? And the teaching of the Tao is from our what? Our Buddha nature. We don't teach from the sutras. People say, oh, I read the sutras. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You learn something. But that's not the whole, that's not really the essence. The essence comes from your Buddha nature. Get it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, another way to say, yeah, well, part of it. Yeah. You can say wisdom. Yeah, wisdom. Yeah. Okay? I mean, if you want to be more specific, yeah, narrow, you can say wisdom. But it's just from your Buddha nature. So that's why, why do you think you know, lecture leaves uh, Buddha nature class is so important, right? Why does holy teacher is basically encouraging everybody to listen to those classes? What's the essence of that class? Your Buddha nature. It's applying your Buddha nature. And that's how we teach, okay? We have to teach and learn, really, teaching and learning, okay? All right, so propagating the Tao is with the Sangha, I said. It's the temple. You can say the temple, the Tao community. How is that so? Well, whenever... We bring in people to the to receive the Tao. You can't do it by yourself, right? You need others, right? You need others to perform the ceremony, right? You need the temple, right? So that's why you need the Sangha, all right? So that's what propagating that, okay? All right? And when we practice the Tao, it's what? Through ourselves. It's not through Buddhas, not through saints. No, no, not through that. Not through that, okay? It's through ourselves. It's by our, basically by our words and actions. That's, that's what it means. Alright? So that's how you do it. Okay? Very straightforward. Alright, next. This is the next five slides are what we call, there are, it's like a scripture or, or a teaching, instructions for our holy teacher. Alright? So this, if you, it's unfortunate that you can't, if you can't read the Chinese, you can't appreciate the rhyme. It rhymes. It's pretty, well, not everyone rhymes, but, but it, and, and it's, not rhymes, but it has a very, it has like a, a rhythm to it, a cadence. It's a cadence. It's very interesting. All right. So, so let me, okay. Uh, let me, let me, uh, okay. So, so the first, it, there are two parts, right? There's the first top half and then the bottom half, right? The top half is when we learn the Tao, we must learn these three words. All right. So in Chinese, it's what? Jing, Shun. Uh, no. Jing. Xin fan, right? Xin, a jing shun fan, right? Okay. So, yeah, xun, jing, jing shun fan, right? Okay. Fan, yeah, fan. Yeah, mo fan the fan, right? Okay. So, so, I, I translated just those three words. Never mind. Okay. And then the parentheses, that's more specific. Okay. So, so the first three words are the broad, you know, you could say broad category. So, I translate as classics. Yeah, jing is like classics. Okay. Jing su would mean sutras. You could say sutras. Yeah, sutras. Yeah, Jing Su. You can say, oh, classic text. Same thing, but okay. Then Shun. Shun literally means instruction, teachings. Okay, but Sun Shun in this case means Dharma or scriptures. You can say holy scriptures, holy instructions. Okay, you can call it that. And then Fan. Fan literally means you can it can mean pattern, model, or example. I use example. It means example. And more specifically, Dian Fan is 
role model or a perfect example or a paragon. That's what a paragon means. Okay, you guys know what paragon is? You, if, if you can say, oh, Confucius is a man of, it's a, it's a person who is a par, who is an example of the paragon of virtue. Okay, a paragon of virtue. He's the ideal model of virtue. You can say that, right? That's what it means. Okay, paragon, all right? Paragon. That's a, that's a good word, right? Paragon. Right? Shakespeare also had that too, okay? But anyway, that's in uh, Hamlet, but anyway. <laughs> okay, so, um, paragon. Okay, so examples, right? So, so, so these are three words that we must learn, okay? <laughs> or three, right? Three key words. Now, the bottom half, these are the three words that we should fear the most. <laughs> Literally, three plus sangha zi, most feared. Most feared three words. And this is very interesting. So if you read the Chinese, it's very interesting. It's a tui to la, <laughs> tui to la. So it's like, it sounds, it's a, it's a rhythm, it's a cadence. It's like, it's like a music, it's like a poem, it's like a rhyme, tui to la. <laughs> literally, tui means to push. That's what literally it means that, literally. As a verb, it means to push. Okay, but, but in this case, what it means is reject, to push off, to reject. Okay, that means you do not want something. Okay, so in 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 uh in uh, in the specifically in the parentheses it's tui xie, right? Tui xie. It means to avoid or shirk from responsibilities. All right, get it? Okay, so when we're learning, all right. So people say, oh, what? Oh, just you know, we're having an English class next week. Uh, this is an opportunity for you to. Can you uh, give a class? Topic of such a no oh, no 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 I don't want I I'm, I'm too dumb or I'm too stupid or I'm too new or whatever whatever be careful remember that word right okay do not reject or avoid responsibilities all right okay remember right okay the second word la yen right la yeah oh no 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 tuo tuo yen tuo yen means to delay or procrastinate or put off. Oh, mañana, mañana. Oh, there's always tomorrow. You know, I'll do it tomorrow. I, I don't want to read the scripture. I don't want to learn about this topic. I'll wait till tomorrow. Well, there's a problem with that. Because tomorrow you may not wake up. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> there's a problem, right? So, so, so that's why as long as you're healthy, as long as you're not sick, as long as you still have your senses, better take this opportunity. To learn, right? Okay, this is learning. Remember, this is a learning topic, right? So don't put it off. Oh, you know what? I'm so busy with my career. You know, I'm my wife, my children, whatever. You know, and I wait till I wait till I, I retire. Wait till I, oh, I, I, you know, I save up a big stash. I, you know, I, 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 I took take care of my parents, take care of my children, whatever. Then I can. Well, there's a problem with that too. You may not wake up <laughs> in the future. So that's a problem. Okay. So so that's why you don't put it off. Okay. All right. Last one is la za, right? Okay, la la literally means to pull, to drag, to pull something, to drag something. So I say disorganized. It also means disorganized. Okay, la za literally means rambling, incoherent, jumble. Okay, so when we're learning the Tao, we gotta be organized. You can't be disorganized. You can say, oh, I'm gonna skip back and forth. Oh, you know, I'll read a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit. You learn nothing, okay? So that's why I'm saying, all right? This is like an ABC, right? Okay? To learning, all right? So that's why. So that's why you have to be careful, all right? So remember, you got to fear these three words. Don't avoid, don't avoid, you know, better not avoid re responsibility. Better not put off learning. And better uh, and learn in an organized manner, okay? All right? So these are the most fear words that we should, okay? As learners, okay? Next slide. All right. Now we talk about cultivation, cultivating. So when we are cultivating the Tao, we must learn these three words. Okay. This is good too, right? It's jie ding hui, right? Jie ding hui. Jie literally means, yeah, uh, admonition, warning, warning, a admonition. Okay. Okay. It's uh, admonitions. Maybe it's a little bit too severe. <laughs> warning is probably a little bit lighter, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. So jie lü. Jie li literally means, yeah, it's a discipline or a precept. Yeah, precept. You know what? Last week we learned the what? The 15 rules and regulations. That's part of that. Okay, that's part of that. If you took the vegetarian vow, what is that? What the, the precept, right? Okay, 
So we gotta follow that. Okay? Ding. Now, ding literally means settled, right? I said literally settled, established. Ding. Literally, it, it means that. Okay? But this ding, because it talks about cultivation, remember, this is in reference to cultivation, right? In the, or in that, in that context of cultivation. So it means your state of mind. You have to be calm. You have to be tranquil, right? So when we cultivate, when we're cultivators, we have to have a what? A calm and tranquil mind, right? Right? Makes sense, right? Or it's a chan ding, right? Chan ding. Remember uh, last week we learned what? That's part of the what? Six parameters. Come on. Six parameters. Chan ding. The fourth. No, fifth. Fifth. Sorry. That's the fifth of the of the par six of the parameters, right? Liu du bo lo mi, right? Chan ding. Literally means Diana, quiet to, that type of stuff. Okay? Alright. Then the last word, hui. Hui means, yeah, hui. Okay, with respect to cultivation, once again, it's really your perception. In this case, more specifically, zi hui means wisdom or prajna. Okay? So perception. That means we have to be very perceptive. Okay? We can't be dull. What's the opposite of perception? Dull. Alright? Okay? We have to be perceptive when we are cultivated. Right? Be aware. Uh, that's a, that's another. Um, you know, aware. Aware is it, it's it's a little bit more more specific, I guess. Perception broader. Okay. All right. Be aware of yourself. Be aware. Of everything. Precepts. All that stuff. Right. Okay. All right. Be mindful. You can say that too. All right. That's all part of perception. But it ultimately means wisdom. Okay. So that's the three words that we remember. We have to learn. What's the most Three feared words when we're cultivators. Ah, three poisons. Okay, tan zi, all right. Three poisons: greed or insatiability. Tan chu. Tan chu means always seeking, always searching, always wanting more. Also, it's insatiability. Okay, zhen. Zhen. It means anger. It literally means anger, right? Zhen. And uh, in this case, I say rage. Yeah, same, same thing, right? Same thing. It's, it's, okay. So, all right. So that's part of three poisons, right? We all know that, right? Okay. Zen hui, right? Zen hui means rage, literally. Okay. Then ci, ci, ci wang. Ci means delusion, yeah? Ci wang means illusion, foolishness. It means literally foolishness. Ci, ci wang. Okay? So those are the three poisons that we have to fear the most when we are cultivating, right? So that's the three poisons, right? Remember that? Right? Just, okay? Alright, next slide. Uh, when we are teaching the Tao, these are the three words we should learn. Respect, or uh, this is in Chinese is really good. It's jing chen gan, right? Jing chen gan. <laughs> it's like a rhythm. There's a cadence to it, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Jing xian means literally means to respect those virtuous and worthy people. Okay, jing xian. That's that's it. Okay, qian xian, right? Xian. Okay, jing xian. Respect, respect, honor and respect, you can say that. Okay, chen, chen means what? Honesty. Okay, or zhen chen, more specifically, it means sincerity, truthfulness, all that, right? Okay, sincereness, okay, zhen chen, right? Then gan, gan literally means to feel or to sense, okay? But in terms of when we were speaking, we say we have to be thankful or gratitude, have gratitude. So gan en means gratefulness or thankfulness, right? So as speakers, we have to be grateful, right? Grateful for what? For the grace of heaven and the grace, right? Of the Buddhas and saints, you know, uh, uh, our grand predecessor, predecessor, you know, the golden thread, <laughs> all that, okay? All right, so we have to be grateful, all right? Okay, so remember that, okay? So as Teachers, or you know, when we're discussing the Tao, we have to fear these three words. Uh -huh. Okay, in Chinese, this is really good. It rhymes. It's mang mang mang. <laughs> it's the same. It sounds the same. Yeah, mang mang mang, mang mang mang. They all have the Yeah, yeah, they all have that death, 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 death radical. Yeah, that's a death radical. But no, it's a death. Yeah, it's a death. I think it means death. Yeah, death radical. Wang. Yeah, it means wang. It means death. Death radical. It's very interesting. Okay, so the first word, mang, literally means blind, to be blind, blindness. Okay, then, then specifically, mang mu means, I would say it means to lack understanding. Okay, 
literally it means to be blind in the eyes, but, but, but it just means to lack understanding, okay? I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of like repetitive, you know, redundant, blind in the eyes. I mean, of course, if you have no eyes, it's blind, you're blind, of course. So what, what else can it be? There's no blind in the ears, right? So, okay, so, so anyway, so, so it just means, you know, we lack understanding. So remember, when we're teaching, we have to avoid lacking understanding, okay? I mean, it means lacking understanding, not just to yourself, to others, to of others, not just of yourself, but of others, okay, all around, okay, both sides, okay, both points. Then the second one, mang, mang ran, it means mang, yeah, vagueness, it means, uh, it literally, it means, it, uh, it, uh, little, trans, what are little, little translations, it means vast and boundless, or, or indistinct, indistinguishable, so that's vague, so that means something that's vague, okay, so mang ran could mean you're confused, you're in the dark, you're clueless, or you're ignorant, okay? So mang ran is more specific, all right? Okay, so when we are speaking of the Tao, we cannot be confused ourselves. And why, why, why bother talking about it? Because you're going to confuse you, not just yourself, but others, all right? And we can't be ignorant either. And you can't be vague, okay? So, so we have to be very truthful, very honest, right? Just remember before that, all right? Okay, the last, the third one means mang. Literally, it means busy. You're busy. You're hurrying. You're hurrying about. Bustling about. Busy as a bee. Right? Okay? That's what it means. Literally, mom. Haste. You're making haste. So I say busyness, haste. Okay, same thing. So, mom, ooh. Okay, ooh means to make a mistake or to be mistaken or misunderstand, whatever. So, it means mistakes. And it literally, so it means mistakes due to haste or stress. You can say it's haste or stress. Okay? This means that. Well, you know, you guys have heard the expression, haste makes waste, mm -hmm. right? Okay, same idea, same, same idea, right? So that's what I mean. So when we're teaching, we got to be careful. We can't rush, we can't do this, okay? So we got to be careful. So those are the three three words we have to fear, all right? Get it? Ma, ma, ma. All right, okay. Next. Wow, I'm running out of time. Okay, uh, propagating the Tao. We must learn these three words. Compassion, attraction, and Manage. I, I use manage, okay, but, 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 anyway, I, I, okay, it's, it's, ci, ci, ci. <laughs> it, it, it's the same, it's, it's the same, it's homonymous, just like from previous, it's, ci, ci, ci. no, literally, that's what it means, I mean, that's how it's pronounced, but the first word, ci, ci fei specifically means mercifulness, right, compassion, compassion is broad, mercifulness is a little bit more specific, all right, okay, or benevolence, you could say benevolence, all right, then the second ci, second ci, Literally, it means like a magnet. No, ci, ci means magnet. Literally, literally it means magnet. Well, and, and specifically it says ci xing, means magnetism. So it's charisma. I say attraction and charisma. Yeah. What makes you, what makes other attract to you? Be attracted to you. You have a charisma. Or you can say you have a uh, very good personality or friendly personality. You can it, it could mean that too, all right? But it's all charisma, okay? So literally, ci xing means magnetism, by the way, okay? So anyway, all right? So, okay? Then then the third ci, okay? Literally, third ci means to grasp, to handle, or to manage, and to control. It just means manage or control. Remember, this is talking about propagation, right? Propagating the doubt. So I say manage. You have to manage it, okay? So ba ci means to grab hold. It, it, it means basically control over our emotions or composure, okay, so when we are propagating the doubt, okay, we may be frustrated, you know, we may be in a rush, we may be, but you have to have to maintain control, you have to manage our composure, manage our emotions, okay, so control our emotions, all right, so very important, all right, so these are the three, three words, ci, 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 okay, <laughs> all right, what's the most feared three words, this is good too, it's way, 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 <laughs> No, it's true. It's way, way, way. It's pronounced way, way, way. <laughs> okay, what's the most three fear three words? Way, way, way. The first way is motive. It's motive. Wei si. More specifically, it's selfishness. Yeah, that's a motive, right? You do it for selfish reasons. You do it for your ego. Whatever. Okay? Right? So it's part of motive, right? Motive is broader. Okay? All right? So it's a motive. So be careful, right? Whenever we're propagating the Tao, you don't do it for any 
motive. Yeah, well, more specifically personal, but for any motive, anyway. All right? Okay, in general. Then the second way literally means timidness or timidity. Timidity, okay? And in this case, it's weiji, right? Weiji means dread or fear. Oh, you know? Oh, some transmitter or temple master asked such and such, such and such speaker, oh, can you be the director? In this ceremony, oh no, I fear that I can't do that. <laughs> oh, or or can you help uh, Chen Chen to uh, encourage this new person to receive the three treasures? Oh, you know, I'm stupid. My English is bad, or my Spanish is bad, or my Chinese is bad. You know, I don't know enough about the Tao. You know, I can't do it. I dread. I fear. Ah, uh, uh, that's not propagating the Tao, right? So fear, fear, and dread, right? Can't avoid, okay? Then the last way, <laughs> Shi Wei, okay? Wei literally means deception, right? Shi Wei is more specific. It means sham, false, falsehood, falseness, or hypocrisy. So whenever we're propagating Tao, you don't say, oh, you know what? Come and receive the three treasures. Come and uh, get the blessing. Because you know what? You know, I guarantee you, after you receive the Tao, this blessing, you know, you're going to be very healthy, very beautiful, very handsome, very nice. We don't deceive people like that. That's deceiving people. That's a sham. You're promising. You're, you're a snake oil salesman. You're promising them something that's not true. Right? So we can't deceive. We have to. Okay? So you have to be honest. Right? Remember from the previous slide? Right? We have to be honest. Sincere. Right? Okay? So those are the three words that the fear. Right? Say, oh, you know, once you sit down, you know what? Oh, you know, you know you can go. You can. You can you can talk to your d deceased ans ancestors. I mean, yeah, you can do that too. But, but you know, you don't promise them stuff like that, right? I mean, that's like, oh, you know, you can see spirits or so, whatever. You know, I mean, come on. You know, so you don't do that, all right? That's that's not it. That's that's snake oil salesman, all right? Okay? So we have to be careful. All right. So lastly, we're almost there, okay? Lastly, when we're practicing the Tao, we must learn these three words. This is good too, okay? It's Chinese. Ching ching ching, <laughs> ching ching ching. It's it's like rhyme. Like I say, it's a cadence. See, unfortunately, if you don't read Chinese, it's hard. It's hard for you to appreciate. Okay, it's like a rhyme. Okay, so the first ching ching ching. Okay, it's part of what six parameters from last week. Come on, guys. Okay, six parameters. It's the it's the fourth parameter, right? Okay, fourth parameter, right? It literally means, okay, it means refinement or continuous diligent progress, all that stuff, okay? Purification, all that stuff, right? Okay, that's what it means. Then the second qing, qing, in this case, qing jing, okay? Qing literally means clear, pure. You can say pure, clear, clear. That's right. I say clarity, clarity, okay? But qing jing means, specifically means tranquility, calm, calmness, or purity. It means purity too, all right? So that's what, all right? So we have to, when we are, remember, practicing, right? We have to learn that, all right? And then the last word, qing. Qing literally means relatives or family. You can say family, relatives. I say kinship. Kinship, yeah, fine, kinship. Qing he means harmonious family. Okay, literally, that's what it means. Or be harmonious like in a family, like that. Meaning that because we are, when we are all fellow practitioners, remember this is xing dao, all fellow practitioners, we are one big family. Okay, so that's what Qing He means. Okay, well, one big family, not family because of blood or last name or relation, but family because we are all cultivated. Get it? All right, so that's what kinship means. So it's affinity, compatibility, all that. All right, that's more specific, Qing He. Okay, affinity, compatibility. All right, literally means be harmonious like in a family. That, that's what it means, literally. But, but that's what it means. Okay? So these, when we practice, we have to be aware of that, okay? We have to learn these things. What we have to fear the most, oh, this is good too. It's, it's, jiao, jiao man. <laughs> jiao, jiao man. <laughs> okay? Okay. So those are the words that we have to fear the most. Okay. Jiao qing. Okay. Jiao qing. The first one, jiao. It means, uh, yeah, false pretense. You can say pretense, you know, be, being something that you're not. Okay. Being not. So remember, when we're practicing, Okay, so it means, it could be hypocritical too, all right? Okay, I mean, pretense, right? You're putting on pretense. Oh, you know, oh, I'm showing people how nice I am. I come to the temple, 
I don't do this, I don't know. But then when you go home, you curse, you, you drink, you smoke, you do whatever. So that's pretend. Okay, that be careful, alright? Okay, okay, so jiao qing literally means argumentative. Argumentative. Okay, or contentious. You like to argue. You like to in other words, you like to fight. You like to debate. You like to you know, you like to contend, okay, contention, right? You like to compete, okay? All right? Oh, I'm better than you. Or, you know, I'm smarter than you. I'm handsomer than you. I'm prettier than you. All that stuff, okay? That's called contention, okay? So we gotta, we gotta be careful. We can't do that, okay? This is not just uh, uh, in our outward actions, but also in our minds, too, okay? Then the second jiao, it's, it's, right? It's the second jiao? Yeah. It's jiao, it's also jiao, right? It's also jiao. It's, no, it's jiao ao, right? It literally means arrogance. Jiao ao, right? Okay, okay, pride, arrogance, same thing, right? Pride, arrogance, right? So we gotta be careful, alright? We're not, we can't be proud, okay? Be careful, alright? Because, you know, pride comes before a fall, right? Okay? The last word, man. Man literally means slow. Literally means that. Literally, that's what it means. Slow, sl sluggish, okay? But in this case, it also means rudeness. Rudeness, okay, or supercilious. Supercilious. That's a good word. Supercilious. Anybody know how to spell that? Never mind. S U P R C I L L I O U S. It's a good word that you find in SAT, right? Supercilious. It means rudeness. That's what it means, all right? Okay? So, Dai Man, more specifically, means disrespect, slight, disrespectful, slight, and neglect, okay? Okay, to neglect, okay? So when we are cultivating, we better be careful, right? Not, we gotta be careful not to be rude or disrespect others or not to neglect others, okay? Here's the conclusion from our 18th patriarch. This is what he said. This is very good, okay? When we, when we cultivate the Tao, we do it one step at a time. Cultivate Tao one step at a time, right? Xiu Tao yi bu yi bu zhou, okay? Right, one step at a time. Listen to the Tao principles one bit by one bit. Okay? One bit by bit. Okay? One step at a time. One 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 at a time, okay, basically. Pi chi yi xian yi xian gai. Yi xiang xiang no, yi xiang yi xiang gai. Yi xiang xiang. Yi xiang xiang gai. Yi xiang xiang gai. Yi xiang xiang to correct our faults and bad temper one by one. Okay? We 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 get rid of it one at a time. Basically, one at a time. Li jie yi bian yi bian xie. Okay, so learn the rules and rituals, okay, again and again, or over and over, okay, again and again, right? I bian, I bian, I mean, yeah, I bian, I bian, that means again and again, over and over, okay, learn the rules and rituals, over and over, again and again, over and over. I, I don't have room, so I just say again and again. It's the same thing, over and over, okay? San si yi gong yi gong zuo means perform virtuous deeds or good deeds, you can say good, but virtuous is better, one at a time, all right? So everything is one at a time. So you have to have patience, okay? <laughs> you have to you have to really thoroughly do it, right? So so everything, all right? So whether we cultivate, we listen, we change our bad habits, whatever, or bad temper, or we learn the rules and regulations and the rituals, right? We have to do the rituals, right? You know, how to cut all, right? We better know how to do it, right? <laughs> or how to do that. Okay, and we have to perform these all one at a time, right? Very straightforward. So very, very good, right? So it just means as long as you're doing, the idea is that you just, as long as you're progressing, okay? So, you know, just like Rome was not built in one day, right? You know, Holy Eighteen did not ask us that, oh, he expects you to become a Buddha next week, right? No. So we just do it one step at a time, all right? The key is you have to continue to make progress, right? Remember the goals. Remember the goals from the previous slide, right? Okay? All right, next slide, last slide. This is, um, Lan Cai He Xian Nong, right? Lan Cai He Xian Nong. Lan Cai, Lan Cai. Lan Cai He Xian Nong. No, 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 no. He Xian Nong. Xian Wen. No, no, no. He Xian Nong. He Xian Nong. Yeah, that's why I said it should be it should be But it should be. But it's basically immortal, immortal land. Immortal land. 
Okay. Now, now, Immortal Lab came to Iowa two years ago. Remember, he came to Iowa two years ago, right? Yes. Two years ago. Yes. Yeah, two years ago. Okay. So anyway, so Chen Wan, Chen Wan, literally, literally, Chen Wan means ten million. That's what literally. Ah, uh, yeah, ten million. It, it, well, in Chinese, it means a thousand, ten thousand. So ten million. A thousand times ten thousand is ten million. <laughs> so it means, but but. That's what literally it means. So I say literally 10 million, okay? But, but what it means, it means by all means. You must by all means or absolutely must, okay? That's why I say must or absolutely by all means, okay? So it says, 千万要学到. So you must or absolutely by all means learn and cultivate the Tao. Uh, learn Tao, okay? And then 千万要学到. Because I don't have room, so I say, <laughs> so I say 千万, must by all means or absolutely by all means you must learn and cultivate the Tao, all right? Then the second line is, must by all means, or absolutely, teach and to spread the Tao, propagate the Tao. And then and I broke up the last two lines. Chen Wan Yao Xing Dao, must by all means, we have to practice. And must by all means, what? Achieve enlightenment, a Chen Dao, okay? So we have because, to make sure, yeah, okay? See, so that, this is what immortal, immortal lands uh, <laughs> uh, uh, advice to us, that yeah, no, but the only way to chen dao, the only way to chen dao, you have to do all the previous, okay? You cannot chen dao if you don't practice, if you don't propagate, if you don't speak, if you don't cultivate, if you don't learn, okay? All right? So that's why he put it at the very end. Huh? That's the result, okay? So that's why you must, by all means, achieve enlightenment. <laughs> Yeah, 千万. How many? How many? Yeah, how many? Yeah, 六千万. Yeah, 六千万. Six, 60 million, right? Six times 10 million. Yeah, 60 million, right? Yeah, I. Yeah, yeah. yeah because I, yeah, if you add, if you add it up, there's six, 60. Yeah. So 60 million, okay? So that's the gift. That's a gift from Immortal Land. Yeah, Immortal Land. 60 million. So 60 million what? Reasons. 60 million reasons to learn. Cultivate, teach, propagate, practice, and achieve. All right? Okay, so that's, you must. Why? Because we are in this last kalpa. Remember? In Buddhism, auspicious, we're in the auspicious kalpa. And we are, within this auspicious kalpa, we are in that, remember that window? That, what? The three realms, salvation of the three realms, where the mandate to, what? Learn achieve, cultivate, and achieve the Tao. It's in this hundred year period. So, we're very fortunate. Think of the many billions, trillions of souls that did not have this opportunity. So, you know, when you think about that, put it in that perspective, you realize how important it is. Right? Okay, so must by all means. Right? Must. Absolutely must. <laughs> Alright? That's what it literally means. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Any Thank questions? You. Very good, right?